Welcome back to the most number of Vistal Sports Channel on YouTube. Welcome back to Swivel Chair Sports. I'm your host, Zach Zuckerberg Burkle, here with my host today, Aaron. Go and say hi, Aaron. Hi. All right, and this video will be raging about why the Chiefs are terrible. Because they just lost to the Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, in... you almost said it. I almost said Oakland. I did almost say Oakland. Yeah. Um, they lost to the Las Vegas Raiders um, in embarrassing fashion, to say the least. Probably Patrick Mahomes' worst game of his career. Like, honestly. Like, like a lot of times we say that and we're being hyperbolic, but I, I genuinely think this might be the worst game of Patrick Mahomes' career, Aaron. Uh... I don't know. Wasn't there like a, a game years ago, like against the Bengals or something, where he just completely shit the bed in the second half? Yeah, but it wasn't like he literally gave the game. Like the defense didn't allow Aiden O'Connell to complete a pass for like the whole second half or something like that. They only scored three points on offense. <laughs> the Raiders only scored three points on offense. Well, if I'm correct. I'm, I'm pretty or sure I am. six points. Sorry, all, six points on offense. All nine of his completions came on one drive. Uh, are you serious? Is that right? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Yeah. So, well, like, yeah, all, and all six of their points were scored by the defense. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, like yeah. I So the offense literally lost, lost the game. Yeah for us but I think you know he that that interception was bad that was really bad the fumble the fumble wasn't on the him. fumble what what are we doing changing off the the handoff that was a stupid play in a rain game stupid play. it's hard enough to get that chemistry you know regular yeah you want to do it in a rain game where three people have already dropped the ball I mean, well, I'm wondering, do you have ball. any idea what that was even going to be? Like, was Mahomes going to hand like take the handoff and throw it if, if McKin or obviously Mahomes wasn't going to take it? That's why it got fumbled. Is because Mahomes thought he was going to going to keep it. Um, but do you think if Mahomes did take think, the handoff? That was the play. Was was he was going to supposed to throw the ball right away? I, I don't think we're that's, hitting that's it off so the stupid. Why <laughs> would you? Why would you run towards the line of scrimmage to throw the ball? That's the <laughs> stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Listen, it didn't work. We don't, we don't have to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I just I would love to go. Ball. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that interception was very bad. Uh, but I think part of it is he didn't trust anybody. You know, anybody, well, yeah. even Kelsey had a drop last game. I'm pretty sure he had a drop the game before. So it's not like he's playing his best. Um, so I think he's he's struggling with trusting a lot of his receivers. And everybody's pushing, trying to do too much because they know that they're struggling on offense. Yeah, yeah well, Mahomes included. Mahomes is trying to do way too much right now. Yeah. That's what a lot yep. of these these turnovers are coming from. Is he's trying to fit it into tight windows, or at times I just I guess there's just miscommunication on him and the receivers stop, uh, parts because some of those it's like where were you throwing that ball is what it looks like, and a lot of that can be chalked up to just miscommunication, um, the really bad ones, but some of them are just him throwing it into windows he shouldn't be throwing it into. Um, some of it seems predetermined. Like he's yeah, he's already made up his mind before the snap. Like that yeah. last one. Well, and then you also chalk up the ones that are like deflected into into interceptions. There's been at least two or three of those this year. So, <clears throat> um, thanks, Kadarius. Yeah, I, at least two of them, Kadarius Tony, because the Lions and then uh, the Packers. No, the, Patriot. the Patriots. Patriots. Yeah. Um, there's two right there that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm sure there's at least one more out there that he has. Uh, or at least somebody else does. So, yeah, that, and that's been the biggest problem with the offense this year has been the turnovers. I mean, Patrick penalties. Holmes is – Penalties, too. Penalties have been huge um, on the offensive line specifically this year. Uh, tackles. Yeah, the tackles have been rough. Tackles are cool. Tackles have been really rough. Like, 
Uh, Taylor, Taylor, is it Taylor? Oh, shoot, what's... Taylor. Yeah, Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness, he's been rough. And... To be fair, I think he was unfairly targeted in the first... He was. ...few games of the season, but... I do, too, dude. There's a lot of ball starts and holdings. Yeah. It's been... uh, Another offensive offsides on a receiver. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just... They've obviously it's it's funny they've been they've been starting to call that a whole lot more ever since that uh, Kadarius Tony incident um, on everybody across the league. All of a sudden, that's being called like you know three four times a week when you used to go weeks without seeing one. So I think that's pretty funny that they're like, oh crap, we now we got to kind of crack down because if we did it to the Chiefs, now we got to do it to everybody. Um, so that's hilarious to me, but. Yeah, the offense has the offense has been moving the ball pretty well this year. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is fifth in the league in yards, um, so obviously we're moving the ball up and down the field, but we're just turning the ball over too much, man. I mean, that's been the main main issue, and then obviously the drops on on the receivers. But the main reason we're getting outscored is because we're turning the ball over, and our defense, as good as it is. They're not they're not good at getting turnovers per se. They're just good at keeping the team from moving up and down the field. Um, and scoring when they get to the red zone specifically. They're really good at that. So, I mean, do you think it's as, as simple as just cleaning up the turnovers? Turnovers happen. I mean, yeah, well, yeah would well. you like less of them? Obviously. But I think the main thing is penalties. You know, you get pushed back, first and 20 on a, on a holding call, and then... Once again, everybody's trying too hard because we've got an extra 10 yards to make up. Yeah. So I think the penalties really are what's absolutely killing us this year. We're <laughs> probably one of the most penalized teams in the NFL. If, if not the I think, if not number one, yeah. I think Dallas is uh, still the most penalized, last I heard. I know we're up there, um, though. Yeah. Especially in Yeah, we have, we have like two of the most penalized players in Ladarius Sneed and Juwan Taylor. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, Juwan Taylor um, is killing us. But I think I don't have as, Hey, hey, as, and uh, and chill on Ladarius Sneed cuz unlike unlike some former Chiefs cornerbacks who who are they're they're penalized a lot but and then they also suck. At least he's, you know, an incredible corner when he's not, you know, pulled and grabbing. I don't. I don't hold his penalties against him necessarily because he is very physical and it works yeah. a lot of times. So he gets away with what he can yeah. get away with, and he what, I don't think he's feels a that out a lot of year, times. Right? I don't think so. Yeah, like that's incredible stuff. So, um, but I think I think the offensive penalties uh, are really what's killing us. And yeah, I would credit the enemy for how clean we've been in the past. So because yeah. obviously it's not been Andy Reid because we're having these problems this year. Yeah. Um Well, I think yeah, I think yeah, hard knows the enemy that, you know, people have given shit for for being too tough. Mm-hmm. This is why. Well, and I'm pretty sure Andy Reid had some history of uh, some very penalized teams back in Philadelphia, if I'm not mistaken. So, that kind of would line up to what you're saying. Uh, it's funny you bring up the enemy because I was actually going to bring. Uh, I was actually going to mention. Um, I don't know if you saw the Mike Florio um, rumor. Uh, apparently, Mike Florio had came out and said that if the and I mean I guess this is really this isn't really saying that it's going to happen. It's more so like saying it should happen. Um, but apparently, he had said that if the Commanders end up cleaning house at the end of the se- regular season. Uh, that would also include Bienemy, uh, assuming that he gets let go. Uh, he said that the Chiefs should look to bring him in for the playoff run. Do you think that's? Do you think that's practical at all? I don't. I don't see that. I. The only reason I do see it as maybe possible is because Andy Reid is is the kind of coach who would do that because you know he's a player's coach and if the players want him then he'll do it. Um, and and the fact that B enemy was there just last season, um, so he knows the majority of the guys. Uh, but do you see that as actually being like a practical possibility? First of all, 
I would love to have him back. Oh, of course, yeah. No, that's point. that's without question, <laughs> in my opinion. Oh. <clears throat> I would. I don't. I don't know how much of an impact it would have at this point. You know, like what's what's the situation? Do we bring him in just as a consultant? And if that's the case, it's not like he's going to be stepping on, you yeah. know, Nagy's toes well, I mean, as OC kind of planning the offensive side. I think this would assume that Matt Nagy gets canned before the end of the year. Well, if that's the case, then yeah. But if it's not, I don't know what really his role would be. You know, it's not like yeah. he's going to come in and start taking over practices and right. planning drills and all that. Right. Although, like, if he was that bad cop kind of guy in the in the in the staff, then you know, all of a sudden, Big Papa comes back to town. <laughs> he's like, he puts his foot down. He's like, he's like, hey, Daddy's back. We're getting to work. Cut the shit. Like, maybe that's what happens. That'd be pretty nice. I think it's needed. That would be pretty nice, but I think. Habits have been built already this season, and yeah, but that's yeah, but you 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 know you know like you gotta you gotta think of it this way, right? So, mom and dad are out of town. You have a part. All of a sudden, dad comes back before you thought he was going to. All of a sudden, his foot's ten feet up your ass. That's the kind of picture I'm getting here in my mind. It's like, hey. What the hell is going on since I left? We won titles doing it this way with, with when I was around. So now that I'm back, we're going to go back to doing it this way. And if y'all don't like that, there's the door. I think a more apt description would be your parents are off backpacking through Europe. <laughs> and you're throwing house party after house party every week. <laughs> you know, because it's not just it's not just one weekend we're, yeah. we're out here. This yeah. is week what seventeen? <laughs> we're coming up, yeah. coming up on coming up on it. So <laughs> that's a, a season's worth of bad habits. That's yeah. No, I get what you're. And I mean, obviously, he's not going to come in and single-handedly fix the receiver problem that we have. Um. So, but I do think that. If we have the opportunity to bring him in for the playoffs, I would do it. What do we have to lose I at this point? I would be all for it. Yeah, what do we have to lose just, at this point? I would be all for just straight up replacing Nagy. I don't I don't yeah. really see that happening. No, I, I don't think he – there's no way Andy Reid fires him before the end of the season. He's not that kind of guy. Um, yeah. But if we don't make a change in the off season, I'll be surprised. So, um, honestly – I would be surprised if we do because I don't think Andy Reid's that type of guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's true too. I can Unfortunately, see. it might have to be it might have to be a uh, big old Veach that makes the decision. Then maybe Veach has to step in and say, "Hey, Andy, this isn't going to work. Matt's got to go, or you got to move him back to quarterbacks coach or something." Because I hope so. I hope I hope there's a lot of noise coming from whatever playoff loss we have. Yeah, dude. Okay. The offensive so play calls. before before we wrap it up, I do I actually do want to kind of talk about that. Um, my concern right now is we're kind of locked into the three seed, assuming we win this week against the Bengals. Um, the Bills are looking real likely to get that six seed. Is that as concerning for you as it is for me? No, because I've already <laughs> decided we're we're gonna lose. It's fine. You know, on to next season. <laughs> we're gonna lose in the first round at home. If our offense plays like this, yeah. As frustrating as that is, you know we'll never we won't hear it. We, we're not going to be hear the end of it for a while uh, if we lose to the Bills in the first round of the playoffs this year. Why? This is obviously the worst year we've had in a long time. No, I know, but just like Bills fans, you know, have been waiting for that moment. They've been waiting for this. They've been uh, itching for it. Good, good for them. Go for it. I don't um, care. I don't know. I think we need more rivalries, and I, I hate it. I it's hate the them. same thing as the, the Raiders. Them. You know, Raiders fans love that one. Good for them. Yeah, and I want to hate them for it. So I'm going to. <laughs> well, you can hate them for it. <laughs> I, lo- I love you as people. I hate you as fans, though. That's all it is, you know? Like, I hate your team. I hate your team. So, like, you know, this, this is war. 
This is war. Nothing against you as a person, just as a fan. I think that's all right. I think it's all right. We need more of that these days. People are soft. So, as for this week, do you uh, see hopeful? I mean, I, I, I assumed we were going to win last week, so I don't even know if I should ask. Do you think we'd will this? Do you think we'll win this week? Because I don't think it matters what we think. But how are you feeling before we go? Not great. <laughs> uh, worse than last week. I'll say this much. The defense hasn't lost us a game this year, in my opinion. So, um, I don't think Jake Browning is going to win, going to beat us. I think, I think the Chiefs offense is going to beat us. We lost only giving up (laughs) 62 pass yards. So, (laughs) dude, I was saying this to Joe. Low threshold. I was saying this to Joe at halftime and it got worse because we didn't really score in the second half other than that seven points in garbage time pretty much um i said to this i said to him at halftime i was like this is the worst loss since the chiefs lost to boswell in the first round of the playoffs back in the and like i was exaggerating at the time i thought because i'm like oh surely we'll win or or at least make it competitive and like if the raiders do win the offense will put up some sort of points no no they only got three more the rest of the way i was like oh no it is worse because their defense is the only buddy is the only person who scored so uh. anyways let's get anything else I think that'll do it for this episode of the Most Unprofessional Sports Channel on YouTube, Swivel Chair Sports. I'm your host, Zach Zuckerberg Merkel, here on the coast today. Aaron, go ahead and say bye, Aaron. Bye. All right, that'll do it. Deuces.